are on the flash forge dreamer after trying to print uh, this part three times yesterday uh, I worked out that I need some uh, better cooling right? uh, to do with the extreme overhangs and things like that because the stock cooler just isn't cutting it because there's the uh, little ducted fan and that's the little duct and you'll notice um, it's that close to the extruder it's melted <laughs> so what I've done I've uh, gone out and got some I've got two 120 millimeter fans uh, that I'll be putting in the side recesses here uh, these panels just pop out and looks like it's nearly made for a 120 millimeter fan so that's good and these uh, high-speed uh, 80 millimeter fans they're 3200 rpm I'll be putting these at the back eh, sort of in there where the fan things are uh, yep and then I've got a, another high-speed 50 millimeter fan uh, this one's 4500 rpm so that's going to be really really loud and I'll make some sort of bracket to uh, put it here so it can cool the uh, plastic while it's being printed. Let's have a look. I've got a 12 volt 3 amp power supply. Uh, so I'll mod that and uh, wire everything up and see how we go. Okay, so here we are again on my upside down flush forge streamer. Anyway, so what I've done, I've uh, got a door on the uh, sorry a fan on the inside door I've got a 120 mil fan on the side and I've installed you can't even see uh, the two 80 millimeter fans at the rear there so uh, anyway that's um where I'm gonna start off uh, so anyway I've got this uh, 3 amp power supply so it's separate uh, power supply for the uh, fans it's uh, running off 240 volt to the power supply and just uh, 12 volts out of the power supply so anyway I've just wired up a, uh, a switch so I've got a uh, yeah, just a switch there it's a nice um, polished I don't know silver sort of thing and uh, doing a pretty good job looks really good um, so anyway that'll be on the directly under the LCD screen and you won't see the wiring and that'll turn all the fans on so all right that's where I'm up to okay so I've managed to make quite a mess <laughs> of the kitchen uh, but anyway here's the first powering up now I've only got uh, this front fan wired up and I'm only temporarily wiring it I haven't wired the others up yet, but see if everything still works. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so the printer still boots up as normal. Now, let's see, see if I can focus. Let's see. Oh, nice. Thing comes on. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's a nice looking button. Turns blue. And that thing comes on. I don't think that's uh, destroyed the look of the printer too much. Looks, looks really nice. The first firing up. Okay, works fine. Now to permanently wire the rest up. So here's my big mess, but good news is I've finally finished. So I've got the two fans in the back there, and I've hidden the wires quite well, uh, so they go down in that tubing. Now the fan on the side, uh, its wires uh, in the clamps and goes down there. Uh, the fan in the front door, it's wires, follows the tubing all the way down, 
lots of filament inside there. And so that's one, two, 220 millimeter fans and two 80 millimeter fans. Um, it's no wiring inside, it's all underneath. So we'll um, focus again. Okay, here we go. That's quite a bit of noise, but there's a good amount of um, air in, in there. Hang on, I'll turn the fans off. I'll just set that bit of paper there and turn the fans on. So as you can see, it's lots of lots of air. All right. So, I've done some cleaning up. Now, here's the final result. All that you can tell from the outside is four little screws and this new button. Uh, that's for my fan mod. So we'll just turn the printer on, just like normal. And you can see that we've got a fan in the door. Right, so if we just turn on the switch, now that is quite some. Ooh, that's a big vacuum. You can see it bending the plastic a little. But that's good. I don't really care about the sound as long as it cools the parts down sufficiently. Alright, so when we open up, we've got a 120mm fan here. Right. We've got a 120mm fan over there. Turn them off so you can hear me. So we've got another 120mm fan over there. Now, I had to angle this one, so I put a washer in and angled it up. So it's sort of angling up. Um, and I've got the two 80 millimeter high speed fans at the rear. Now, as you can see, my wiring, that's all you can see is my wiring. Uh, is right there. That's all my wiring that you can see. We'll move the print head. And there's those two little wires, left and right. That's my wiring. Now it goes down inside that tube and then eventually pops out down the bottom. Ah, it's behind all that and that's it. Now the wiring for this fan goes over to there and it joins in with the uh, normal cable ties. This fan, uh, the wires go around the door. I'm going to put a clamp on the door All right. and then it just goes around I can't get to it uh, around to the side and then down down into the bottom and that's it All right. but this is the difference so no fans and then and there's a lot of air There's a lot of air being thrown around there. Alright, so... That's good. And that's my... Uh, button with the light. The fans will only run while the printer is turned on. So turn the printer on. Blue light comes on, the fans are on. And that's it. It. I'm pretty happy with that. It seems like a nice clean install. Very nice. On. Off. Okay, so that's my fan mod for the Flashforge Dreamer. Excellent. So I'm printing the uh, dog again. It seems to be coming out really, really well. Nice 
finished after one hour 13 minutes there it is may not see if I'm bringing this bed up a bit so that looks pretty good yeah. all right so I might just turn these off pretty well, especially on the underside of the neck. That was the bit that failed each and every single time before. Okay. Yeah, no problem. This is straight off the bed uh, with no cleaner at all. So, canine, that turned out pretty good. This back end turned out nice and smooth. This side See if I can get those lines for you. Turned out really, really good. A little bit of clean up needed there on the tail, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. You can even get the polygons in, in his face. And his ears. And most importantly, under his neck. Now you can see why that's such a huge problem. You've got that just printing in mid-air <laughs> and that's no supports or anything. Now that's a pretty steep overhang I'd say. So he sits like that. I reckon that's over 45 degrees. Okay so here is my first attempt uh, of printing this dog. This is with the stock cooling on the flash forge dreamer. And as you can see could not handle the overhangs whatsoever, the tail broke off and then I put on two really big uh, cooling fans at the front and this is my result I got this, beautiful nice clean lines did the overhang fine, actually better detail than the original um, and the filament looks better dog collar is a lot cleaner looking uh, so yeah, now I've, that was my temporary uh, cooling with uh, the fans just zip tied to the front. So now, this is my third attempt. This is uh, with all the fans permanently uh, installed. Uh, so let's have a look. Does the overhangs uh, fine? If I'm focus. Uh, dog collar still looks pretty good. Nice clean details, filament doesn't look too glossy, and perfect detail. So let's, let's have a com comparison. I'd probably say uh, they're both perfect. <laughs> Put them side by side. Canine. The green's a bit hard to show, but canine. The neck turns out uh, really good on the blue and also on the green. So I'd say that's a successful uh, cooling mod that I've done. So a vast improvement on the stock cooling. The stock cooling, nah, it's a fail. But uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm very happy with my uh, cooling mod. So if anyone's got flash full strainer, you've got trouble with uh, prints like that, install some cooling. Okay, bye.